to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Shira and I'm a fashion and advertising photographer based in Manila, Philippines. And I thrift all the time, both for my photo shoots and of course for me to wear. Um, I do have quite a colorful, playful, but still kind of safe style. Um, that's why I always love going to the Ukay Ukay because I get so much variety and it's just so much fun for me to play with clothes. And on my channel, that's kind of what I enjoy doing. I just share what I wear and hopefully you pick up a few ideas along the way. Before anything else, I would just like to thank Just Magazine for my little feature inside. It's called Ukai Magpie. I think out of all my ukai or fashion features I've had throughout the years, this is probably one of my favorite ones. It really talks in depth about just my inspirations and how I got into thrifting and how it really helps me be creative. It's just so fun and light and really speaks volumes about how I go about um, choosing and becoming really fond of my clothes. And you can order this uh, via their website. It's Army Miliaru on the cover. So today's actually a great video if, if you've just uh, tuned in because I always get asked where I ukay ukay and my answer is always Mahati Square or Tagaytay and more recently in Araneta Cubao I go to this store called Fashion Delight and I have a couple of videos if you just look um, through my video list and you're gonna see the Fashion Delight ukay ukay hauls there but I've also been going to this mall in the gig which is called sunshine mall and i would say that it's slowly becoming one of my more favored ukay ukay places to go to just because there are so many stores scattered throughout the mall and honestly if you're a digger like i am it might take you one whole day just to go through all the stores um, i usually spend at least an hour in each store so there are about nine or ten ukay ukay scattered all around the mall so i definitely suggest checking it out and everything i'm going to be showing you today came from just one trip i'm going to talk about the pieces a little bit and then show you how i styled or how i would wear them in real life and everything I'm gonna be wearing with the pieces that I got from Sunshine Mall, I usually style with thrifted pieces as well. I'm gonna start with the accessories. And like I said, there are just so many stores inside Sunshine Mall. So some stores are for bags, some stores are for shoes, um, some are a mix. There's even a store there for used toys. Um, the prices vary. Sometimes they go really high. Like I've seen a bag there for 12,000 pesos, but of course it's designer. But this one is actually made of real leather. It's a vintage snakeskin print clutch. And I got this for only 100 pesos. It was in a bin somewhere and I just dug as usual. And this is really so well made. I can use this when I attend events. It's very roomy and it's in such good condition. I think you can also attach a strap here, but it did come with one. But for 100 pesos, I mean, this is such a good find. And then in the other store, all the shoes, designer or just regular shoes, were 100 pesos. And I found these leather boots made in Italy. These are a size 40 actually, so size too big for me, I guess. But when I tried them on, they just fit perfectly with the right pair of socks. I also found another pair of leather shoes. These are from Jill Scott. They're a monk strap loafer in a navy blue. They're also leather and they were a little pricier at 680 pesos, but compared to the synthetic ones just sold in retail stores, I think this is also a good buy for me when it comes to shoes. So now I'm going to show you the dresses that I got. And this is the first dress. I really like the fabric. I like the straps and how low it came um, under the arm. And it also has an asymmetrical hemline with some ruffles. So while the shape is just quite straight, I love how the ruffles just make it a little more playful. And I also like the color a lot. I've 
been into green a little more lately. If you watch my IG stories, I have this matcha green leather bag from Catre that I wear a lot. I also have my neon green velvet pants from Tagaytay that were 10 pesos. So I do wear green quite often. I think it's a really fun color to play with and it's quite unusual. You don't always see people wearing bright greens. This next dress I got from the same store. This has really good fabric. I, I love the impact of the piping. This white piping so I immediately imagined myself wearing it with white pumps. I could also wear a trench like a light white trench coat over this for something more dressy and a little clutch would be perfect just so I wouldn't disturb this really nice white line in the middle. This kind of elongates me. I'm not that tall. I'm not that short either but this gives that visual effect that you're much taller than you actually are. This next dress was 250 pesos from another store. All the dresses there were 280, but since I got two pieces, I got uh, yeah a little discount on both of them. It's quite prairie looking. The colors are very 1990s. This is probably one of my favorite purchases that day. So this was from the same store as the striped dress. This is a polka dot jumpsuit. It also has a garterized waist and it has pockets and it just zips up the back. You could wear this with a belt. Um, you could also wear this with um, a collared shirt. But you can dress this up and down. I could wear this with sneakers. And the fun thing about this and also one of the reasons why I got it is because I can wear a lot of different colored shoes. It's just one of those versatile pieces that I think I can keep in my closet for a long time and style different ways. From another store, I got these overalls. These are just a hundred pesos. I don't really have white overalls. I have a lot of denim ones. I even have striped overalls. I have corduroy overalls, but I don't have a white pair yet. It's also not a very stark white. It's almost creamy, so I really like that about it. And in the cutaway, I just wore this with a loose white tee just for a very casual mall look, maybe. And I wore them with uh, my color did I wear? My peach converse, I think. But this would look good with white chucks as well. Now let's move on to the knits. I have four here to show you. This first one is a short-sleeved knit. So it's this top. This was 150 pesos. It's actually orange. It's a dark orange in real life. Um, in the store, I thought it was more of a rusty orange or like a burnt sienna. I tried something different and wore it with my vintage high-waisted bell bottoms that I found in Japan. The color of my pants um, were quite similar to these, so I think that made kind of a coordinated look, even though they're totally different pieces. Now, this top is just a thing of beauty. It's so pretty. <laughs> so this is the actual burnt sienna rusty orange that I thought the first blouse was. It's such a warm abstract top. Um, it has forest green and black and dark yellow and cream. It's also a very unusual pattern. Oh, it also has like a checkerboard print down here. It has chevron, it has polka dots. I thought they were leaves at first, but it's just different patterns everywhere. It's so cool. And I love getting printed tops because that means I can wear a lot of different bottoms. So if you look through my past videos, I do kind of follow a formula when I dress. So although my outfits always look really colorful and out there, it's more simple than you think. I just take a printed blouse or anything printed and then pick a color from the print and that's what my bottoms end up being. So I could wear this with literally any color that's on here. I wore this with my Levi's ribcage jeans. I could also wear it with a red bag or a green bag or a white bag. I mean, the options are endless. That's why I really love getting printed tops. And it fits so well, it hugs the body in all the right places. And it's a turtleneck, which is a bonus. I love my turtlenecks, if you haven't noticed yet. So this isn't actually a knit, but I just threw it in here because it's not a blouse, so I just put it in this category. It reminds me a lot of 
cheerleaders for some reason, maybe because of the stripes and the color. And just imagine this cut, like without the sleeves, it could totally be a cheerleader's uniform. So I went ahead and wore this with a light pink turtleneck, no surprise, and again my high-waisted pants from Japan, the bell-bottom ones. I realized a little too late that I could have just styled it with my maroon corduroy bell-bottoms just to make it a little bit different. This is just so me. This is me in a nutshell, in one of my many nutshells. It's again that burnt orange color with a soft oatmeal and also a dark brown it has a little snag but i might just put a brooch or so something on here it's not really noticeable honestly so i don't mind so much i also like the banding so i would normally tuck in knits because they're very chunky but since i want to show the banding i just wore it over white pants and then to kind of compress my look and really put the focus on this beautiful pattern. I wore this in the cutaways with a brown suede coat that I also found in one of my early earlier trips to Sunshine Mall and I paired that dark brown coat with dark brown boots um, pointy boots to echo the edges on the pattern here and then I also paired it with a bag that's very similar to this brown color so it's a very put together look that I think would work well when traveling I also imagine wearing a white or cream colored beanie and I'm just wearing it in the cutaways with my shades from Sunny Studios it's a retro look as always and I really love it we are almost halfway through, don't worry, and I hope my bangs aren't bothering you. I have a little fan in front of me. So we are now going to move on to the blouses. Here is another retro looking top. Again, with my favorite colors, orange and beige, and this time it has a more cerulean blue and a navy blue. I like these pointy collars so much. I wore this, I think, at first with darker teal corduroy pants, but I didn't fancy the fit too much, so I changed into a higher-waisted um, pair of jeans in a brighter color, and I loved how this looked more. I also have an orange bag to complement the orange stripes on the top. And I think I also wore red sandals because if you look closely, the little dots are darker than the orange stripes. So that's my whole look for this top. I almost forgot to mention this top that I'm wearing was also from Sunshine Mall. This was 80 pesos. I don't know why I almost passed on it, but I don't have anything that's velvet with big floral prints and I'm making excuses again but I just love the color it's very bright it's really a saturated red and I feel like a lot of the lipsticks that suit me are the same color as this rose so that's that's my reason for getting this blouse and for 80 pesos it wasn't so bad it's this nice thick velvet that's also really big on me and I wore this with a pair of pants that kind of matched these other flowers. I also happened to have a belt that looked very, very similar to this that I got for only 10 pesos. And then when I got this blouse and then I got home, they looked almost identical except for the fabric. But from afar, it's not too noticeable. And I think it's kind of cute that they match almost. And then I also have some bright red sandals, open-toed, uh, to complement the red on my blouse. And I also have this really, really cute butterscotch colored bag that I found in a vintage sale. These next three blouses are very, very similar. And also, if you watch a lot of my other videos, you're probably going to say, you have blouses that look just like those, and you're correct i do have a lot of printed blouses very silky oversized blouses with pussy bows and big shoulders and nice sleeves so this first one is a vintage blouse with a nice little tie in front and puffy sleeves so i wore this with my blue velvet 
pants that are quite short. Um, I don't wear these pants because I feel like it's a very awkward length, but then when I put it on and wore it with this top, I, th I thought it looked kind of cute, and then I wore it with those blue leather loafers that I also got from Sunshine Mall. This blouse doesn't have dark blue on it, but again, it's in the same color family, so it works kind of well together. And then just to top it all off, I have this vintage jacket in a bright purple color that just works together with the whole outfit. And I paired it with a little clutch so as not to overwhelm the entire silhouette. This next blouse has a more oriental feel to it. The collar almost looks like a mandarin collar, but it's not. It's a little more drapey than that, and then the collar crosses over to your other collarbone so it kind of gives the effect of a scarf around you. It's really big and it does have shoulder pads so I haven't removed them yet. I'm kind of enjoying the extra wide 80s power um, shoulders. Since it's so big, I decided to wear this with really high-waisted black trousers just to kind of emphasize the waist and then since the color is so happy and so bright and inviting. I went with my teal or like a dark seafoam pair of shoes. So I could totally wear this outfit to an event or to a fancy dinner. And like all the other tops, I could also just wear it with jeans. And that's kind of what I forgot to mention. Everything I got um, from this haul um, for, or from that trip, you could just wear with basics. You could work with white pants or jeans and sneakers. This is the next floral blouse. It's a more subdued color. It's more, I'd say, like an autumn color. It has plums and purples and dark greens and olive even. And just to change things up a little bit, since I've been wearing a lot of trousers and just kind of basic bottoms to pair with all the crazy tops I have. I decided to wear this with a velvet dress. It's a full-length sleeveless velvet dress that I tend to wear with um, blouses underneath as well. I think this gives a scholarly look. Um, I know not a lot of you are into that, but I do enjoy dressing up as a character once in a while. And then I also wore mid-calf lace-up boots just to emphasize the kind of old world um, look that I was going for. And I also tried belting it because the, the velvet dress is quite shapeless and quite loose and it's just a lot of fabric so I think the belt really helped give that shape. I also pulled my hair back. Uh, I think that sometimes by changing you, your hair you change up the entire look and I did that just so it wouldn't be too overwhelming like I just have so much going on on top so I pulled my hair back and wore gold jewelry uh, to match the gold buttons on the blouse. We have three more blouses to go, and this one is really quite different from all the other blouses in that it's more of a modern look. I also really, really, really enjoyed the colors. I think this blouse was... Um, how much was this? 280 pesos? So again, another pricey blouse. Um, I found a lot of things in the store with um, blouses for 280 pesos. I think they were just new arrival. That's why I always hit the 4 for 100 shops first. This one I liked because it's a fun, very childlike print. It just makes me happy when I look at it. Um, I love the colors. I have shoes that are this color. I have a bag that's this color. I have pants that are similar to this. So I was thinking of a lot of things I could pair this with. So I did try a couple, but I ended up styling this quite 90s, I guess I'd say around 94, 95, and I can pinpoint that era because that's when my mom wore a lot of um, what I'm going to show you. Uh, so high-waisted shorts, I guess you could call them mom shorts, and then I took a black belt just because of the black zebra stripes on this, so I thought that worked well together. And then to keep it really quite 90s, I wore a white shirt underneath. I think that just gives it a more retro feel um, compared to just wearing it open. 
So since I had the basic bag and the basic shorts and belt and white tee, I put the fun in the shoes. So I wore bright orange leather loafers with silver horse bit buckles to really bring out that 90s feel. And the silver buckles on my loafers also matched the silver buckle of my belt and silver accessories. So it was a whole look that I enjoyed putting together. Here's a little break from all the prints and this is a really, really pretty blouse. Um, I, I'm having a hard time describing it maybe because it's a lot of different styles rolled into one. Like the the bib, for example, um, it's like a... how do I describe this? It's almost like a leg of mutton sleeve that's also a bat wing um, and it's just... it's very very difficult to iron. I steamed this a couple of times but it just won't straighten. So I've just resigned myself to the fact that it's always gonna look wrinkled. I was toying around with the idea of wearing something a little more historical but that ended up looking too costumey so instead I went with a skirt that you can tie around the waist to really cinch it because this blouse is very very balloony and very big so I went with that and then I also tried to tone it down by wearing just ordinary jeans. So I wore these ribcage jeans from Levi's that are very very high and then I also kept it simple and classic by wearing mules in black and also a black bag. We've run through everything from really casual to summery to spring to retro and this next blouse I think would probably be appropriate for another dressy event. It's a little sheer but you could wear a camisole underneath and this was 80 pesos only and I got this from the same store I got this top from so they were both 80 pesos and I wore this with pants that are the same color as the velvet ties and the embroidery on it. I think it's a very classy and elegant look. I don't normally dress like this but you know, I could. I really like the, the shape of this blouse here at the waist. The embroidery is just so good and none of the threads are loose. It doesn't have a brand, but it says dry clean only, so it's quite delicate. I'm really gonna keep this blouse and save it for a nice special occasion. We are down to the last two pieces and they are both jackets. This first jacket I was thrilled to find because it was only 220 pesos and it's in perfect condition. I immediately imagined myself wearing this with a big pussy bow blouse and like bell bottom or velvet disco pants. It's such a 70s rock and roll look when styled that way. Um, of course you could wear this to the office if you wanted to, like you could just wear it as is with a smart pair of trousers and nice heels, but the only outfit I could imagine this in was a 70s rock and roll god look. And the last thing I also got from the same store I got that jacket from is this cropped trench. I mean, I say it's a trench because it really has the same features of a trench, but it's really just a, a cute jacket. I do have a couple of pieces that are very similar, but it's the fabric of this that I like. It's quite cottony and it's more of a springtime jacket. Um, I could wear this when traveling, could wear this um, to the airport. It's just nice to throw on maybe a dress or maybe a plain t-shirt. In the cutaways, I just have a white knit tucked into plaid pants and a nice classic belt. So without the jacket, it's a very spring outfit and throwing this on just makes you look so put together in my opinion. And you have a nice bag and a nice pair of sandals and I think it really elevates an entire outfit. So that's everything from a trip to one of my favorite ukai ukais, Sunshine Mall, and the information will be in the description box down below. In case you want to see more of my outfits and more of my ukai ukaiing more regularly than my posts here on YouTube, you can visit shiraluna.wardrobe on Instagram. I actually have five Instagram accounts. I have Shiraluna Manila, Shiraluna Film, Shiraluna Archives, and just 
me, regular Shira Luna. So if you're just interested in seeing the outfits and the upe upeing, you could just go to shiraluna.wardrobe. I really do hope you enjoyed all the pieces and how I tried to style them and I hope you perhaps picked up a few tips and tricks to help you in your own thrifting or your everyday dressing at least. Till my next video, thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you soon.